lift you up. We call that TV gold. That's right. TV, TV gold. gold. <laughs> and weather gold today, right? Yeah. yeah. It's Goldilocks, not too hot, not, <laughs> not too cold. cold. Just right. Just right. And, and I like to kind of put September under that umbrella because typically we get some nice conditions and that will be the case over the next week or so as we soak up the last of the summer sunshine here across the Pacific Northwest. 78 degrees, that's where we're currently sitting at here in the Rose City as the clouds slowly peel their way out of the Mount Hood Meadows area. But of course it will be returning as we anticipate some wetter and rainier weather to once again return. A beautiful live look out towards the Forest Grove area. All things were explored to Alton Valley camera as our current temperature is at that 78 degree mark. The high point of the days. We keep those clear skies working our way through the rest of the evening, seeing those temperatures cool back to the upper 50s. But shortly after midnight, that's where we expect to see the clouds once again roll their way back on shore. Six days now. That's all we've got until we wrap up the summer month and enter into the autumn equal equinox this Sunday on September 22nd. And because we've got a full moon that is so close to the equinox, that makes it the harvest supermoon. So supermoon because the orbit's going to be a little bit closer to the Earth, making it appear slightly bigger and brighter. Now, if it wasn't as close to the equinox, then it would be known as the corn moon. Now, on top of all of these other names, it's also going to give us a partial lunar eclipse. Now, only about 8% of the moon will be covered behind the Earth's shadow, and that just so happens to happen right around 744 tomorrow. So be on the lookout, although the cloud coverage and the wet weather will make it quite difficult for us here, at least in the Pacific Northwest. We've got all that information right now at coin.com. Satellite and radar showing the last batch of moisture peeling its way out of the central sections of the Beaver State as we prepare for our next cold front. This is going to push those clouds through our area for the start of the day tomorrow, leaving behind not only some wet weather, but a cool pocket of air over much of the western half of the country before we start to see this ridge build just to the west. That's going to be pushing a lot of our temperatures closer to the mid to upper 70s. So the wet and cooler weather, it's only going to last for about 24 hours before we warm things up again. You can see it all timed out here with the future cast. Those bright blue sunny skies taking us into a clear evening before the cloud coverage starts to increase. Tomorrow for your commute, if you're along the coastline, picking up on some light rain showers. But the I-5 quarter stays dry until about 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then we expect to see some heavier downpours just after sunset. That takes us into the late evening hours before we dry things out for the start of the day on Wednesday. Return a little bit more of that sunshine and the fall like warmth as we see our rain accumulation fill up those buckets close to about a tenth of an inch here through the I-5 quarter closer to a quarter of an inch along the coast. So for your commute tomorrow. To start off, it's going to be dry, but by the evening hours as you're heading home, expect to run into a few heavier downpours across the I-5 corridor. Tonight, we stay dry. We increase the cloud coverage as those temperatures slide back into the mid-50s. Tomorrow, pack your patience before the rain comes. That happens right around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon as we only get up to about 65 degrees because of the widespread cloud coverage. We dry things out. We return the sunshine for Wednesday. Temperatures back into the low to mid-70s as we move our way through the end of the work week. Overnight lows also staying on the mild side. That's primarily because of that cloud coverage acting a bit like a blanket force, but boy, just a picture perfect weekend in store back to the low to mid 70s, a mix of the sun and clouds. So great for maybe a corn maze, a pumpkin patch activity, a lot of great fall activities really underway. And we have some nice weather to match that as well. Yeah, and perfect weather for all that. Yeah, thanks, Josh. Yeah. Hey, it comes down to the, a 